if you look at the book, take a look at the book for us, right? And I have a book for me to compare. So basically, when they lay out, you see it's spacious, mm. it doesn't, all the content is in there, the examples are in there, and the information you need to, to get stuff done. So it's like, when you try to look at, you don't want to see a ton of information coming out. There's a lot of some books that have a lot of reading, a lot of information, you create, you create a script in the middle, and you get a post that content, and it will be fun to print. And in a lot of cases, it's a turn off the case. So when they, when they try to go about doing this, I try to give them the kind of information that we need to the updates on the books that, because a lot of the books that we have, we will have to teach. Let me say, for example, we are teaching set theory. We will have to use three or four books to teach them. So I try to put everything in there so that everything is there for the child. Everything is there for the students to understand what we need to, and then easier for teachers as well. Um, and another thing too, with, a, with having something like this, is best for reducing the amount of paper, electricity, um, the ink that readers use, the names and the printers that we will have to use. Because once a student has this book and they can do the work, you know, the book, this book is a book that will keep them to CIC. It's something that will keep them but once you practice and you go through the different stages, it will lead you up. It's basically like a foundation book. It starts with the very basics and they give you a walkthrough from, they give you a walkthrough from looking at fractions. It start with fractions and it start with understanding LCM, understanding equivalent fractions. Canceling down in proper uh, mix and mix, mix numbers and proper fractions, right? So it, it just breaks, it just starts from the very beginning and then build you up. And this, I think that kids will need, that's the part for kids to have. Because sometimes the books, a lot of the books that we have are split in two. They're part, they're part, they're uh, volume one and volume two. The syllabus is split in two, and to get the full thing, you have to buy both books. But this allows you to have everything on in one. And I would say it's a process, it's a little bit.